Well, Mike, it's been a bright and early start for us. Nice cup of coffee around the fire this morning and we've spent most of the morning working our way up into the hills here and we're finally where I really want to be. Everything up to here has just been climbing and climbing and getting higher to where we got good vantage points. And now that we're up, it's nice and calm. It's beautiful weather this morning. Um, we've got our Gunworks gun, the seven millimeter, the LRM. Uh, you've been very excited to use it since I met you in the very States uh, in January. And uh, everything is set. I think we, we've we seen a couple of Mount Reedbuck as we came up the hill. Uh, we've seen um, a couple of groups of Kudu females. We haven't seen a Kudu bull yet. But I'm pretty certain as we start working these back valleys that are really quiet, we should find ourselves a nice kudu. And that's our goal for today. We're looking for a nice old mature bull living up in these hills, quiet life. It is magnificent up here. It's a, a beautiful day and from here it can only get better. Find ourselves a nice kudu. It's a perfect day. Mother nature's on our side. Yeah. Well, um, coming over our first ridge here, um, we've spotted one or two groups of kudu during the course of our, our morning climbing the mountains and getting up on top where I wanted to be not 10 minutes and we've spotted a fantastic kudu bull. He's following a couple of cows with a yelling calf um, and he's just gone and holed up right now in some thick stuff and if we, we just want to give him a little bit of time, see what he's going to do, let him make his move and then we can make our move. But it's a fantastic start. Excellent that we've spotted a nice bull. And now the game has begun. Now it's a cat and mouse game. See if we can get on to him and see if we can get a Mike to make a good shot. Mike, we've made our way over. And um, so far so good, not spotted us. I can't see the females. We should start seeing the cows fairly soon. He's a little bit lower down on the ridge than them. I'm hoping they don't spot us first. If we could get into a position where he fed out, even if we waited out for two, three hours, that'll be fine. But we just try and get to work our way quietly now between these thorn trees. The wind's in our favor here. Uh, the wind's turned from what it was on the top side. And we can just keep making our way. We can just bite off another 300 yards. We'll be in a good position, okay? This bull, I think, has gone and laid up for the, for the morning. I think he's, he's done feeding, he's done chasing cows. What I want to do now is the females I saw where they walked over into the back valley. I'm pretty certain when this bull gets active, he's going after them again. So let us get ourselves into position and work our way slowly over that way. See if we can see where they've gone. I'm sure he'll follow in due time. Um, to sit here is too much of a 50-50 that he'll come back. I'll rather take the chance. If we bust him out, we bust him out. We keep looking for bulls. But if we can find him, yeah, we'll be in a good place. Right. So we've got a bit of impala to contend with. We've got a bit of mountain reed bucks. So we need a little bit of luck on our side. But hopefully they'll cut into the wind and head away.
Uncle Mike, it's been a great day hunting the mountains. It's been, a, the weather's been unbelievable. Uh, the Kudu has given us a hiding second to none. And we're going back to camp uh, to share the stories of our day and all our failed attempts at a fantastic Kudu pool. And we've located him now in the late afternoon again. He's about two, three miles away from us across these hills. I, I can barely make him out, but I can see him walking with a, a two females and a yearling calf. And we will come back in the morning. We will give it another go. We'll go and enjoy a campfire. out this morning after having a tough day on Kudu yesterday and we are suddenly into a fantastic Kudu pool. We've just found a fantastic Kudu. We're going to try and get into a shooting position for Mike now and we're going to take a shot. Um, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we can get onto this pool. You see if you can find him. So you find, see that tree out there on the right of the ravine? Under, Under the tree. Okay. You see him? Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on. I'm going in. Okay. Okay, hey, just take your time. Hit him dead center of the body again. Just squeeze. Okay. 
That's a good hit, Mike. That's excellent. I listen that. That's a long way out there, my man. We needed that follow-up. Okay, he's gonna go down. He's gonna lay down, eh? Fantastic, Mike. Got him, my man. So what we've had is um, we hit this bull just two valleys back from here. Uh, we were set up for quite a while on him and uh, Mike hit him just a little bit low. He came around the front of these ridges and we ran along the top and we've had to come up over into this next little valley here. And from the top down, thank goodness we had the Gunworks gun with us because we, our, our final shot was at 575. So uh, we, we had a bit of wind drift. Uh, Mike made a, big, made a very good call and absolutely smoked him. Um, he has gone down now. Uh, we are just gonna watch him and uh, then we're gonna make our way down there. He fell down, yeah. <laughs> we got him, Mike. All right. We got him, partner. Job, guys. Well done. Yeah, I think he finally tumbled down, yeah. Wow. Good dog, Bonga. You can see here, Mike, this is where you hit him. Right, yeah. Ew, guys, he. Zonk, eh? Yeah. Lots and lots of blood, yeah. Mike, Thank put you. it in, partner. Thank you. Well done, my man. Let's get on there. Let's have a look at our bull, eh? Well, Mike, here we have it. Two days of hunting hard, um, finally getting onto a bull of our choice. We've looked over a lot. You've been patient. You've walked far. We've sat long hours in the sun waiting for them to make a move. And finally, uh, this, this morning it worked out. We got ourselves a fantastic bull. We had to get onto him once or twice. He, he first busted out. Uh, we then followed up on him and we finally got him. And he, he came down, your final shot was up above you and he's actually come tumbling down into the river here. So a massive congrats, he's a Thank beautiful bull. Thank you. It was one heck of an experience and something I'm sure you won't uh, ever forget. I sure I won't, I can tell you that man. Really, really nice kudu. Beautiful.